Wanted to do a quick update on Lahaina, if any of you are wondering. Thank you for all those who donated. I got money straight to the families. They made lists of things we need. We went out, we bought those things. Um, a lot of them are finding places to rent, trying to find um, just some sort of normalcy. Um, donations are coming in from all over the place, and they're still you know, being able to filter it a little bit more efficiently than in the beginning to get the things that are coming in to the people that need them. Um, we've been rotating work. So the guys that lost their homes, at least they don't have to come to work. So we've been working shift substitutions for them and they don't have to pay us back. You know, we just work for them and then they can concentrate on their home and, and what they need to be doing for their families. Um, the president will be flying in. They're going to fly into OGG, Kahului Airport, and then he's going to take a helicopter to Kapalua on the west side of the island and then drive in um, with his escorts to Lahaina Town. And there's hundreds of rental cars all around the airport. Um, people are not flying in, which is nice. Keep the roads clear. 80% of people that visit Maui go to Lahaina anyway. So without Lahaina, um, it's a lot of the tourists uh, um, go there. Um, so yeah, there's just a lot of uh, rental cars we got to watch out for now. Um, we did have rental car fires during COVID when they were piled up. Um, sometimes you know, or they or they get looted people start messing with the cars overnight um, but the big thing now is just uh, insurance for these people for the all the people in Lahaina many of those homes were from multi-generational homes from like the plantation days so what they're finding or they could be finding is if they didn't like appraise their homes you could be living in a million dollar home but if you didn't appraise it and maybe the home was given to you then it's going to get your insurance or what you're paying is going to be based off of what the last appraisal was. So if it was appraised at 200,000, you know, decade ago, decades ago, then that's what your insurance is going to be covered for. So hopefully they did, but I can see that, you know, if you're the third person in your family to live in this home, you're not going to want to pay more insurance and get it, uh, you know, reappraised. And then also car insurance as well. People are finding that their cars weren't insured or their cars aren't covered. Um, and then also, you know, loans, the interest rates are so high right now. How are you going to afford to get a loan to rebuild? Um, so all these things are kind of what people are finding out um, as they're trying to recover and find their path to, you know, return to Lahaina. Um, they're still looking for bodies. There's still a lot of people missing. Um, the count keeps going up. If you guys are keeping track, it's over 100 people. And a lot of stories of, hero, um, you know, heroism and just a lot of people working hard. Everywhere I look, people are trying their best to help the people of Lahaina. It's, it's awesome. People are on boats. People are flying. People are driving. People are donating. And it's just really good to see, you know, the goodness of people's hearts um, when these type of things happen. Um, so yeah, that's, that's all I got, you know, we'll keep you guys updated. Um, but yeah, thanks.